Honestly, yeah. you have the Molten Shield to help the Jinx out. Obviously, you can peel quite well, but also provides that power and engage threat. And it means you have a strong mid jungle. You have a good top matchup. You have a good much bot matchup. You win team fights. You outrange. Um, yeah, I think Live Sandbox can be pretty happy with this one. Yeah, uh, I think Ryu can be pretty happy. With I love how Dundun after you pop the ghost, which just like zigzagging, like try and hit me. You can't. Oh. All right, here we go. Quad trying to get that ult in as he hits him in the front. Closer, turning at the wrong time. Oh, now Crazy Tibbers getting on in, but guess what? Yumi's here as Vital does bring him on over as the rocket is going to hit him. Oh. And Teddy collects in the mid lane. Yeah, I was about to say that's super positive for the side of Nongshim. Quad getting the solo kill. I'm like, maybe this is the thing they need to break things. And then the rocket hits. I was like, oh, wow. Tower. He's been doing his best just to defend. And honestly, it ended up... Uh-oh. Oh. Flash in, there it is. Oh, he catches him, and Vital is in a rough spot, getting spun on right now, trying to kite this one out. And now, in comes Quad, gets oh. the bear down, and Teddy gets another one. That stopwatch is perfect, but now, oh, well, they're just barely able to get that kill onto the Cassiopeia, which is good, because otherwise that would have been a disaster as Gnomeshim were able even gonna get to work on the Dindin already. Teddy's taking a massive amount of damage here. As, no, he's just being baited in. Vital in a really rough spot, but he is running away pretty fast. And the teleport is coming in. Do they have the damage? Is Rocket not gonna get the kill? But Teddy still excited on the backside of this fight. And now with Sylvie coming in, is not gonna be able to help. And that is just not going to be enough for them on top of him. So no, no, uh, no Scion rather in the fight. Yeah, really well played. Oh, and uh, potentially no Scion on the Rift here. No Flash for you, Ghost buddy. Did. Uh, and he ults into the blue buff. Yeah, uh, <laughs> well, he's dead, yeah. Uh, um, Kazante just gonna get that one, as I do not know what I was watching. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bit of a sneaky play here from Nongshim. I like this, honestly. Little little hide on bush action, and Willer looks to be dead here. Gets slowed down, is just trying to get over the wall, trying to get to the Melio, and he survives for quite a long period of time, but it's still a nice pick over to the side of Nongshim. Go even further beyond. Okay, we got there. Well, Bertle's got a nice little angle here as he is looking for the engage on the quad. We'll pull him over the wall, goes all out as uh, Q misses that one, and now he's in a little bit of a struggle as he does get Miasma. He's gonna get the knockup here on a quad as the massive wombo combo in goes the Wukong onto that back line and down will go quad. Vital is trying to kite this one out, but the Kasate, you cannot get away from him as he will pick up the kill and Teddy gets excited. All the dominoes fall and it is a massive team fight. Win. Total control of this river, although they are standing on a ward. So at this point in time, Gnome Shim are like, yep, whatever, we know exactly where you are. Now they're trying to get in position for a good Miasma in the gone. choke. As Sylvie now on the left side, Closer just zoning him away. There is no chance of a steal unless, nope, Smite comes in and Willer just takes it down. Gnome Shim just idling around as the flash comes in. It is picture perfect from the side of live sandbox they catch two and the jinx gets excited as now doesn't even have to shoot over the scion to shoot the scion himself as that will be four members going down outside of dundon triple kill for teddy this game is over Coach slowly but the trigger is pulled by close he finds the engage and once again teddy just gets to do teddy things on jinx yeah, there was never a single moment in this game where it really felt like they were threatening the Jinx Melio. And again, we said this in the draft, especially if you get behind, you're not going to have a real opportunity to do damage in this game. Oh. Oh, God. That's, yeah, that's something. Because I think at this point, Cal will nearly have W max, or it might already be max because he's going three points E and a W, so the range is oh, disgusting. Boy. Yeah, now they're getting flanked by Cassante. Um, yeah, this is... It's uh, a rough one. Like I said, uh, let's let's pack it up. No, Sim. Uh, they're going to give it one last... Oh, he got caught by the Chompers. That's not going to do it. That's a kill over to Closer. And now they don't have a front line anymore. As down will go the inhibitor. And TP is coming in now from Bertle, who tanked up a bunch of damage, can now just rejoin the fight. As you can just stand on the turrets now. You don't even need the, the laser that is Teddy at this point as everybody's just getting cleaned up. Vital, will he survive is the only question. The answer is absolutely no. Oh, <laughs> so, oh, oh the God. Rest. <laughs> oh, stop it. This is not fair. Down goes the Nexus. That is the end of the game. 2-0 to live sandbox. Easy peasy for them tonight.
Yeah, and as much as in spring, the difference in standings between these teams wasn't that major. You could see this 